What about the flow direction? What about the
planar non planar refers to axial plane if it is tor non planar if it is right it is planar so this is the result of type 1 interference question last thing will ask me ask you, you know last point Can you write S and Z pattern? S and Z pattern. I have told you earlier. <laughs> now let us see how a dome looks like. A dome will look like this. Now. A dome will be like this. That is not. This is a dome. Sir. So this fold is a F1 fold. This fold. Is a F2 fold. <coughs> you understand this pattern? No? <coughs> that if that is the case, you write for F1 first. F1, what will happen here and what will happen here? What will happen here and what will happen here? This we have to write. So what will happen here for F1? S. S1 you can write for the time. What will happen here? J. Is it like that? एक फोल्ड में लेफ्ट साइड में क्या रहता है फोल्ड का लेफ्ट साइड में क्या रहता है अभी इतना दिन 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 जेड 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 तो दो ही है ये नहीं होगा तो वो नहीं होगा बात क्या है गैस इन तो है नहीं हमेशा याद रखना लेफ्ट साइड में जेड है ये साइड में एस लेफ्ट साइड में जेड राइट साइड में एस देखो ना कोई फोल्ड आप बनाओगे ना ऐसे बनाओगे ना ऐसा देखो उन्हें मेकिंग ऑफ फोल्ड द पैराबाइट्स विल अपीयर लाइक दिस तो दिस लॉन्ग लिंग शॉर्ट लिंग लॉन्ग लिंग लॉन्ग लिंग शॉर्ट लिंग लॉन्ग लिंग दिस अपीयर्स इज दे सिमिलरली इफ यू गो टू दिस साइड सेम फेनोमेना है लॉन्ग लिंग शॉर्ट लिंग लॉन्ग लिंग एस सो दिस बाय हार्ट यू रिमेंबर लेफ्ट साइड में जेड राइट साइड में एस तो दिस इज जेड दिस इज एस दिस इज एफ वन फोर्ड तो इफ यू कम टू दिस एफ वन फोर्ड बोथ साइड टू हैव टू एफ वन तो दिस साइड विल व्हाट दिस इज द फोर्ड ही ये तो व्हाट व्हाट दैट तो दिस साइड विल बी जेड एंड दिस साइड विल बी एस अंडरस्टैंड दिस थिंग्स क्लियर Now you come to F2. F2 you have to walk this way. This way. So if you come this way, so what will be here? Z. Because this is you are walking like this, looking towards this hinge, you know. So this will be Z. So F2 comes to be earlier. Here what will happen? This is the right side plane. S. S Z. Because this is F2. You have to walk this way. You know, if you go to this side, you have to walk like this. So Z S upon Z, Z upon S. So first figure stands for F two, and this second figure stands for F one. So like this, many times we see this reference S upon Z interference. So this side you go. This is another F two. So F this side will be what? Z Z upon X because this is F two. You have to walk this way like this. So left side will be Z, right side will be S. Because to let you know, let you know, you must understand. You know, immediately it may not set in your mind. It's easy, but but that yes. So like these ten points, you may have to answer. You may have to remember. Suppose in the exam it comes, what is type one interference pattern? Only one like this only. All these things you have to write it. Because this covers or this completes one definition. So if you have any little photograph, see na, or any imagery, see na, or fold belt, you will find lot of domes in basic structures. Particularly Arab. Arab level, there are thousands of domes in basic. How is it? Sometimes I do not have any idea here. 
object and image relations. You see two f ones on either side of the plane of symmetry. This is the plane of symmetry. Plane of symmetry. Now these are two object and image. Understood? Sir? That is why it is called mirror image. And what else? Recent patterns. Recent pattern you understand as the meaning. The moon pattern. Recent means moon pattern or cyclical pattern. Then what else? Mushroom. Mushroom pattern. Mushroom. Arrowhead. Arrowhead pattern. Arrowhead is kind of thing. Cook. Cook. Mushroom pattern. Mushroom. Yeah. Mushroom pattern. Mushroom. Mushroom pattern. Mushroom pattern. It is here there is no arrow. Say hello. If you remove this part, it may be appearing like an arrow, you know. Hook. But if you see it in total, you know, this will be arrow. This will be that. Hook. Mushroom pattern. And what else? Umbrella. Mushroom case of the mushroom. It will be connected like this, huh? This part. And another <coughs> thing, this end will come like this. Yes. Mushroom pattern or umbrella pattern. Umbrella pattern. <coughs> umbrella pattern. Understood, na? And what else I have told you? Is there any other name? Actually, these are two names. Then, next one you see. What is the point? What happens? Or you can give some figures here. Then comes what happens? In the interference pattern, what is the nature of F1? So what is the nature of F2? This is what we are going to discuss. So you see the interference pattern, what happens to F1? What happens to XL plane? F1 XL plane is folded, na? This was originally like this, and now you put F2 this way. You know. This is what has happened. <coughs> so F1 XL plane was like this. Axis was like this. Now you put a second fold over it. So what happens to F1 XL plane? It is now folded. Axis is also folded. That is what. Hmm? So what do you write? F1 non-planar, non-planar, non non cylindrical similarly f2 f2 see f1 was like this and you made f2 over it across now so what happens to f2 xl plane f2 xl plane always planar remember and what about its axis non cylindrical or cylindrical non cylindrical the axis is also curved na you see F1 fold was like this, and you made a F2 over it, like this. So here what will happen to F1 fold? It will plunging like this, here it will plunging like this, here it will plunging this way. That is why it is non-cylindrical. F1, F2. So last part I told you, SJ pattern. Can you tell me? Now it will be easier for you, you know. To draw the interference pattern, so what I do is F2. F1 fold, you see. This was F1 fold. This thing was dipping this side. Here it was vertical thing. Here it is dipping this side. Now you are putting F2 over it. So this part will be folded this way. Okay? And this part will be folded this way. Here it is plunging this side. Here it is plunging this side. Axis is just a trace of the axial plane on this plane. Na? That's what it is. Understood, na? Non cylindrical. Now, if you come to the answer, uh, this is F1, this is F1. If you write these things, the things will be clear, very clear to you. This is F2. Now, you tell me the SZ pattern. SZ pattern, first for F1, you write. F1 is here, here is F1. 
to what will be this part? Then you have to walk like this, not towards the hindu. You have to turn like this and walk this way. You have to turn like this, walk this way. You have to turn like this, walk this way. That is the way you should find the dead and aspect. So these two, this side will be dead. <coughs> this side will be S. For F1 you are right. Understood, na? For this F1, this will be what? There, this will be S. This you are understanding. Now you complete for F2. F2, this part you have to write. This part. This part will be what? Z. So Z you have like this. This part will be? Yes. S. S. Similarly, you count this. This is also F2. Hold on. So this part will be? Z. And this part will be? S. So like this, you complete these minor patterns. Understood, na? Now let us go to. Huh? F2. This one, F1 and F. Up F1 fold for that. F1 fold was recommended. F2, F3 recommended fold F1. Over that, so this is the F1 XL plane. This is F1 X. Now over that you are putting it. Yes, sir. So F1 XL plane becomes non planar X is non planar So F1 becomes non planar non planar Now come to F. F2 is like this. This the XL plane the straight. Something will happen to it. But X is, X is, you see, X is depends on the orientation of this folded surface. It was dipping this side, and this part was dipping this side. That is why F2 axis will be plunging this way, and F2 axis will be plunging this way. Opposite way. This part of the F1 leaf, it will be plunging towards east, suppose. This part will be plunging towards west. That is why. Understood, na? I have told you earlier, the letter has the axial plane and axis. The axial plane will be always plana. Because second fold is a sear fold. उसका एक्सेल करने में कुछ नहीं होगा। वो काट के जाता है। एफ टू एक्सिस हो सकता है, स्ट्रेट हो सकता है, सॉर्ट। क्योंकि ये जी डिवेलपिंग वाले फोल्डेड प्रोसेस। अच्छी तरीके से। वैनी टाइम दिस सॉर्ट क्वेश्चंस कम्स। एफ टू एक्सिस इज द ज्योमेट्रिकल विदर मींस डिपेंडिंग ऑन द � how to decide? Now, suppose I draw a fold like this, you know, I said, well, it's a fold drop or something. Suppose, I can write which one is dead, which one is yes. That is the beginning part. How to decide which one is dead, which one is yes. Which one? Left side is Z, right side is S. This you understand, na? This side is Z, this side is S. That is the beginning. If you understood, then the other side is very clear. Now, so this part, this part, like this, na? So, this part is Z, this part is S. We are writing for F1. Similarly, come to this side. If you have to walk this way, no? your left will be Z, your right will be S. Clear, no? You can put this down here, no? So now these four things are clear for you. F1 part is clear for you. Now come to F2. F2, you forget the F1. F1 you forget. F2, which is F2? This is one F2. There is another F2 here. Two F2. But both are closing in the same way, you know, it works for both the cases, like this. So you have to work like this, which side will be, this side will be what? Z, I am writing Z. Understood, na? Z upon S. Z stands for F, S stands for F1. Z is superimposed over S, it means that. Z is fallen over S. 
the meaning of this uh, statement is this. that is lying over x. Similarly, if you go to this side, it will be s. A is superimposed over z. Come to the inner leaf. This side will be same z, na? Because if you watch it, is same, na? So this side is z. Z is followed over z. S is followed over s. Understand now, huh? So clear, na? In this respect, so many times this remains a doubt for a long time. And a long time. Anyway. So this part is over, huh? Yeah, I'll I'll give you one example of a type two intersection pattern. There are many, but one ideal example I'll give you. What I have drawn. You understand about it? <laughs> huh? I'm keeping this part. This is so this is not well defined. Now this part. You remember that is a very big outflow like this. Remember or not? What is this? Kadapa. Kadapa basin is P A S. Kadapa. If you see, this is also crescent step. Crescent step. This one. So now can you tell me? This is also product of two folds. The interference pattern between two folds. So which one is F1? Which one is F2? So this pointed part is only F1. This the pointed part is F1, and this is F2. So this is the large scale expression of mirror image. Map scale. The entire basin is a mirror image. Entire basin is a mirror image. How is this point? <laughs> one unit of force. Huh? One unit of force. What is large scale for that? Inside that there will be thousands of force. What is the large scale pattern in the F1? Large scale pattern in the F1. Understood? So, what a basin is an example of mirror image. Now, we go to type 3. Hook. Hook. 
Now you tell me what happens to Exactly what I have drawn there. Can you see this thing? Yeah? Which are F1? Can you see the F1? Can yeah? you see this is F1? Here it becomes F1. <coughs> Can you see man? It went here also. You see, it comes like this. Joins here, goes back. Joins here, comes back. Joins here, goes back. Can you see that? Yeah? So these are F1s. A hook. This is a hook. This is another hook. Here is also a hook. So this is F2. This is F2. And these are F1. These are F2. 
follow this point. Now suppose you understand this picture. Suppose I do not show you the F1. Now I will show you the center part. You understand that? I am just hiding the F1. I am just hiding the F1. The F1 to hide the ground. This F1 I am hiding. I am only showing this part. You will only see the F2 floats. Only see the F2 floats. So suppose I ask you how many quadrate bends are there in this area. I am hiding this part, you understand it. I am hiding this part, only showing this part. I am asking you how many quadrate bends are there. These are all quadrate. Right? How many quadrate bends are there? What will be the answer? Huh? One. Six. One. One quadrate bend. Ah, one quadrate bend. Ah, but you cannot answer these things, you know, because you are not seeing this. You know, right? It is moving around here, you are unable to see, na? So the first impression of I have is such bends. You understood this part. Because of this coaxial folding, same bend is repeated so many times in a section. Now suppose you enlarge these things into large area, vast area, you know. Suppose a quartzite and mica cyst units are there. Just two units can make a quadrate unit to repeat, you know, 100 times. If this kind of things happens, you know, continues like this, you will get the same bed 100 times, you know, in the section. So generally, in the uh, area where you will be working, you know, you may be telling, you know, there are two mineralized zones. Two mineralized zones. In fact, this could be one mineralized zone, which is repeated, you know, in a section. So type 3 interference pattern or coaxial folding gives rise to these type of repetitions. Same band will be repeated so many times in this section. So this statement I'll write. Same unit can repeat no, like this. Many times, many times in a section due to coaxial folding. Due to coaxial folding. You don't understand this part. Right? Suppose this type of things come sometimes, you know, maybe ask, you know, you have six such bands in an area. What is your interpretation? Which is younger one, which is older one, you can ask. They could be same as, and it is being repeated so many times because of coaxial folding. So you may metamorphic channel like this, you know, where the uh, repeated folding has happened. You should not build a stratigraphic section. Stratigraphic section you just cannot build. Because same unit can be repeated so many times. So you cannot say which is older, you cannot say which is older, which is younger. It's the same you know, same unit will be repeated so many times. Okay. So now if we ask you what happens to F1 and F2, I think answer is very straightforward now. So two points are left now. What happens to F1 and F2? F1 kya hota hai? Non-planar cylindrical. If the axis does not rotate, non-planar cylindrical. So what about F2? Planar cylindrical. Because the axis does not rotate here, does not get folded here. So it remains non-planar cylindrical F1, F2 is planar cylindrical. Thik hai na? Now, last point, SZ pattern. Very easy now. This is F1, this is F2. So you complete. First F1, F1 have to work like this. This is the hinge zone, have to work like this. So this side is Z, this side is S. There is no F1 on this side, so you don't write this thing. F2, F2 you write, F2 fold is this way now, this way F2 fold. So this side will be Z, this side will be S. <coughs> that is what? So Z upon Z, Z, uh, <coughs> S upon, <coughs> no, S upon Z, then S upon S. This side Z upon Z. This is Z upon 
थोड़ा इसको देख लेना बाप में इट्स नॉट वेरी डिफिकल्ट यू कैन यूज ऑफ अंडरस्टैंड दीज आर ऑल यू नो अबाउट दी इंटरफेरेंस पैटर्न तो नेक्स्ट क्लास यू विल सी समथिंग अबाउट दी लिनियर सन देन यू विल गो टू द सेयर्स ओके उस